Hello there, this is Stephen Ball and you are obviously here because you're wanting to get started with Interface to Go, uh, which is a great choice. So I'm going to take you through how to get the initial license file that you'll need to deploy with your application just to give you all the great features of Interface within your application. Now, first thing to do, just come to the interface.com and go to the deploy page. On the deploy page, if you scroll down, here you'll find embedded IB to go and if you choose start for free obviously I'm assuming you've got the developers edition already um, which is great for Windows and desktop um, application development or client server uh, Interface to Go is very much about having that deeply embedded license now this is ideal for mobile and if you're using uh, Rad Studio Enterprise or Architect Edition then you've already got a license for the to go edition for mobile uh, if you have a look in your fulfillment email, you'll be able to find your serial number there and your registration code. If you're using any other platform, or if you want to target uh, desktop, or if you're developing with another development tool like Rad Studio, then just come to this page here, fill in your details, and hit start your trial, and you'll get an email sent to you with your serial number. Uh, if you've already got an EDN account, you can just log in here, and that will then get you through to that page. The email you get sent through looks a little bit like this. Uh, it's an automated email, so it comes through straight away with your serial number and also your reg code. And in here, there's a link to reg.embarcadero.com. If you click that link, just put in your personalized serial number and reg code and choose next. You'll then have the chance to download your license file ready for use. So you can just choose download or email and hit the register button and that will then be sent on through. So when you download the file, you'll notice it's got a strange name to start with. Now if you just rename it, we're gonna move it over to our development machine and we're gonna rename it to reg underscore ib to go dot txt. And we need to put it into the redistribution folder for Interbase. So if you go to C users public, public documents, wherever your public documents folder is, uh, Embarcadero Interbase Redist, and then you should find an Interbase 2020 or whatever the current version of Interbase you're using uh, folder is. And in there, you can go ahead and just put the, the license file in. That's as simple as it is, and um, that then means that it will pick up and be ready to use as we deploy out on any platform. Now, I've got a project open here, and I'm going to show you two little things here quickly. Uh, first down to the project deployment, if you go to the feature files, if you add in Interbase to go, you'll see here all those redistribution files. You can see the IB redist directory is a, an environmental variable of the IDE, so that knows how to pick it up and find the local uh, the license file for you. The one thing I would say is just either rename the IB Lite file or just unselect it if you want to use to go within a specific project or a specific platform. And that would just stop it deploying both files and maybe getting confused later on. So just uh, set that up and then you're ready to go. And uh, literally you can now deploy your application out to mobile and it will pick up the files, everything's good. If you're running out onto Windows, um, one little trick um, is to actually use PA Server. So if you have a look in the folder where Embarcadero Red Studio is installed, uh, typically program files in Embarcadero Studio, the current version, and then there's a PA Server folder in there, you'll find the installers for the different platforms for PA Server. Now, PA Server is our platform assistance program. It allows you to remote debug and test and run applications on other machines, but you can also run a loopback locally so I've installed that locally on my machine. I've gone ahead and under the target platform properties, I've added a new profile and set that up for uh, a name to be kind of local32 uh, or, or whatever you want to call it, uh, and then just save that in. I'm now able to run out to that profile using PA server. So I've got my PA server here just running. So I've gone to PA server at command prompt, launch PA server and put in the password that I've set in my PA server configuration. And now I can deploy and run my application directly from the IDE. 
Now the great thing about doing this is it means that uh, you'll be able to find your scratch directory and your profile, you'll be able to find your application and then you've got all the files together there ready to copy and deploy out or to test outside the IDE. Simple as that to get going. Right, now before we finish off, I just want to end off with a quick shout out for the info docs on the resources page of the interbase.com website. Now these resources are really, really useful if you're getting started. And um, there's one specifically for Visual Studio and .NET developers, pointing where to get all the kind of the key resources for you. Um, and also one for Rad Studio developers. So just go ahead, click those. Uh, it will take you in uh, and then you can, you know, download that and they're all hot clickable links within the PDFs just to kind of get you going and moving forward. So that's it. I hope you find this really, really useful. Uh, happy coding. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or a member of the Embarcador pre-sales team globally. Um, we're always here to help and look forward to hearing what you're doing with Interbase. Take care.